Hey there, so I wanted to do a video on a couple of products that I was given to try out over the last couple, uh, over the last couple of weeks, over the last week, sorry. <laughs> and um, the products that I'm going to be talking about are by a company called Arbonne. And I was given them by a friend of mine who uh, goes to my church and she's an Arbonne consultant. I've spoken about her before on my videos. And she gave me a couple to try out and I jumped for the opportunity because I love trying anything out and yeah I was really excited so I've had them for about a week now and I thought it was time to do a video before I had to hand them back and <clears throat> yeah so I'll just quickly talk about the company and then I'll dive into the products so the idea behind our button sorry is that it runs by the slogan pure, safe and beneficial and they claim that all their products can do that and apply are applied by that uh, ideology and so, they sorry I'm reading this otherwise I'll totally muck it up so they claim that all their products are formulated without animal products or by-products um, formaldehyde donating preservatives or petroleum based ingredients such as benzene, mineral oil and loads of other things. So, um, the range she gave me was called FC5, and the idea behind the FC5 skincare range is that there are that they all have um, ingredients include. Uh, they all have fruit and veg in their formulas, and um, they basically are there to help enhance and to uncover the usefulness of your skin and just improve that generally in a natural gentle kind of way so the four products she gave me were the um, hydrating eye cream which has fresh kiwi cell extracts and moisture fresh complex and that is for all types of skin she also gave me the purifying cleanser and toner which has fresh strawberry cell extracts and a matte fresh complex and the idea behind that is that some of their products are specifically tar targeted for certain skin types so this one is I think this is what these little kind of kind of letters are is for oiling to combination skin and I think I, I'm not sure whether this one is for all skin no this one in the book says just for oily combination so I'm not entirely sure what G and M stand for. I don't know if you guys can see that on there. Um, and then there's the exfoliating new cell scrub, and that has fresh carrot complex, fresh carrot cell extracts, and a moisture fresh complex. And that again is for all skin types. And then this is the oil absorbing day lotion with SPF 20, and that again is for just for oily to combination skin. Um, I'll start off with the eye cream just because that's the closest to me. So this one, um, I'll show you, it comes in a quite a cute little sophisticated looking tub and it costs, where is it in here? £26, so it is quite a bit. And um, it just comes like a screw cap and I'll show you. What it looks like inside now the smell of this oh I love the smell of this it's it's gorgeous and um, I mean she gave it a spatula with me to try because the thing was is that she gave me the full size because she doesn't actually have any there are I don't think there are any sample sizes so I'm going to give them back that's why and um yeah I've really really loved this but the thing is is that I technically don't really I don't really use eye creams. Um, I have one, but I don't reach for it all that often just because I never really have a need. The only, I guess you could say, time that I ever need it is, is if I get, I sometimes get really dry just in the corner of my eyes. And so I just need something that will really moisturize that. So I was using something that was relatively cheap just because I rarely ever used it. But I do love this a lot. So for an eye cream, this is brilliant. But I can't justify myself buying it because, sorry, I'm gonna have to cough. 
Sorry, I don't know if you heard my voice kind of going there at the end. I've got a really, you know when you get that tickle in the back of your throat and you just can't get rid of it? Well, I'm having one of those days. And um, I was just saying that I just, I can't justify myself spending that amount of money on something that I don't really reach for all that often. But having said that, because I do love the way it feels on my skin and what it does, it creates, it just makes it, look, I don't know if it's actually doing much, but it looks a lot brighter and the area just looks a lot fresher and brighter really. So I guess you could say it's doing what it's supposed to because um, their aim is to make to bring out the youthfulness in your skin and but yeah, I don't know. I have used it pretty much every day. But yeah. Um, next up I will talk about the exfoliating new cell scrub which is for all skin types and it costs £23 so it's, I guess you could say it's in the league with like Clarence and Clinique so I guess it's not mega expensive but it is for me personally. Um, <clears throat> I do like this. It has quite a lot of granules in it, and which makes you think it could be really rough on your skin. But actually, it's quite gentle. Um, it might not always feel it, but it hasn't so far made my skin irritated, or actually it's not that rough on my skin at all. Um, I just want to see if you can at all see the granules in there. That's why I did a little kind of scrub swatch, I guess you could call it. And <clears throat> I do like it, but I don't know if it's that much different to many other scrubs, apart from the fact that it's got fresh carrot cell extracts and moisture fresh complex, and it's probably more likely to be slightly better for your skin. But I haven't noticed any significant differences on it's all significant effects on my skin as a result of this product. Um, <clears throat> next up, I will talk about the Purifying Cleanser and Toner with Fresh Strawberry Cell Extracts and a Matte Fresh Complex. Now this goes with a product that I'm, well, it specifically works really well with the product that I'm going to be talking about next. Because they've both got Matte Fresh Complex, which specifically, again, is targeted to oily and combination skin, which I, I have combination. So it's really ideal for me. And... It's very easy and this, it has, it's supposed to smell like strawberry, but I don't really feel like it does, but it's not a bad smell at all, it just, I didn't really picture strawberry with that. And, um, <clears throat> I, I do like this, it costs, I think, 19, yeah, this costs 19 pounds, so it's not too bad, you get 118 milliliters, oh, with the scrub you also get 118 milliliters. But this will probably last longer than this because you need less of it. Um, this has a tendency of running out of the thing quite a lot. So you do end up getting more than you actually need onto your hands. So that might mean that you waste it a bit more. But having said that, I do really like it. It's really nice feeling on my skin. It lathers up quite nicely. Um, not too lathery though. And I do notice, I have noticed that the pores especially when I'm using it, that my pores seem to shrink and um, kind of disappear as such. I just feel like my skin has been really cleansed and yeah, I do really like this actually. And the last product is the Oil Absorbing Day Lotion with SPF 20. So it has SPF 20 so it's already brilliant because moisturisers really should have some form of SPF in them um, I think anyway and it is again oily for combination skin because it has got a matte fresh complex and it has kiwi in it again following the theme of having fruit or a vegetable in the products and you get 50 milliliters for this and I love it I really really do love this but the really sad thing is that it costs where is it it costs a whopping £31. Why is it that I always love the really expensive things? Like, I don't even realise that they're expensive, but I somehow am naturally drawn to them. I don't know what what, what is wrong with my programming. But, um, this is brilliant stuff. I love it. 
And um, the reason I love it is because I normally try and stay clear of any kind of moisturiser that's kind of a lotion. And um, I'll do a swatch just so you guys can see what it's like. <coughs> it looks kind of quite greasy. And then you kind of rub it in. I, that's one thing, the pump kind of gets out a lot. I need almost like one and a half, but you can't do half pumps with this. So I end up getting too much. So it looks quite like greasy as such. But as soon as you put it on, you can feel it start to tighten up. Because it, it's all mixed up. I think that's the matte fresh complex working. I'm becoming tighter. And um, it doesn't mattify my skin as such. But I can feel it stopping me... Not feel it. I noticed that there's less oil production on my skin. And the shocking thing is, is it hasn't caused any breakouts. Which just baffles me because whenever you put moisturiser and lotion on my skin, it seems to just cause breakouts. So this has revolutionised that. And it's also revolutionised the fact that I can now wear my Laura Mercier tinted moisturiser without it drying on my face and looking really flaky. So I'm definitely going to be buying this next month, even though I know that's going to be costing me money. A lot of money too, which is really sad, but I do really like it. So I'd have to say, if you had to buy, if you if you're interested in this and you're only able to buy one product, uh, either get the purifying cleanser and toner, um, or the oil absorbing day lotion because these are brilliant obviously don't get this if you haven't got oily to combination skin there's no point maybe go for um although i haven't tried it maybe go for the oh, the nourishing day lotion with spf 20 so it's pretty much exactly the same it's just not for oily to combination skin it's for normal to dry and that costs the same and i think it has the same principle but it's got moisture fresh complex instead um instead of the matte fresh complex so yeah that's just my thoughts on the products that she gave me to try i've really really enjoyed it so thank you andrea if you ever watch this um i've i've loved it so far and yeah i hope that was helpful sorry for rambling on and yeah thank you for watching it and i'll see you guys soon